Today, the scriptures open with John 17 and 18. We're witnessing Jesus praying to his father. He's telling his father that he has done the work that he's been given to do. He has completed the work. And now Jesus is faced with going through um, one of the worst periods of his life. He tells his father that not only have I completed the work, but I've kept all of those you've given me. All of the disciples, I've kept them, I've prayed for them, I've taught them, and now they believe the word that you gave me, they believe also. As he finishes his prayer, he walks immediately into the garden, the garden where he is going to have to face the worst day of his life. Maybe you have faced the worst day of your life as well. Maybe you've just come through a horrible bereavement. Maybe you have been given a diagnosis that is not a good diagnosis. Maybe your children or your relatives are in trouble and you don't know how they're going to get out. Maybe you're laying in the hospital bed watching this devotion. I want you to know that just as Jesus prayed to the Father, we must pray to the Father. The Father knows all things, he has all things, and he knows what's best for us. Jesus had to then witness his own disciple betraying him. He had to witness the Roman soldiers come and capture him. And then he had to be humiliated and led to the cross. He had to witness the one who he loved, Peter. He loved Peter as much as he loved John, but he had to witness Peter denying him three times. He witnessed all those things, but with all that in mind, he had you in mind. He had your trouble in mind. Jesus went to the cross for us. Jesus died for us. Jesus rose from the grave for us. And now today, all we have to do is remember that Jesus is praying for us with the Father in heaven. Let's bow our heads. God, we adore you. We honor you. Most gracious Father, lead us today. Uh, give us great insight in what we must do. God, let us trust in you and not our own thoughts, Lord God, not man's thoughts, but your thoughts, which you have for us, which are good and perfect. Thank you, God, for all that you do. Thank you for the wonderful testimonies that will come forth from this Easter season. We love you and honor you. In Jesus' name, amen.